I want to show all of my haters love. This one's for you. <laughs> I'm just teasing. Anyways, uh, thanks for joining me back here on this channel. I'm just doing this to uh, kind of buy time. But I also figured that I would answer a couple of questions. I've been getting a lot of comments in the comment section saying, you moron, this is a republic, it's not a democracy. How, much, how many times are you going to say democracy? Can't you read? We got a republican form of government. <laughs> yes, yes, I can, Rain. And I know exactly what kind of form of government we have. Let me let me read to you some uh, some state constitutions. Here's South Carolina, Article One, Section One. Political power and people. All political power is vested in and derived from the people only. Therefore, they have the right at all times to modify their form of government. Really? Let's go to a different one. What about Oregon? This is the Constitution of Oregon. Natural rights inherent in people. We declare that all men, when they form a social compact, are equal in rights, that all power is inherent in the people, and all free governments are founded on their authority and instituted for their peace, safety, and happiness, and they have at all times a right to alter, reform, or abolish the government in such manner as they may think proper. Let's go to Missouri. Missouri, now this is actually Article 1, Section 2, okay, so this is, this is Section 2. The other ones are Section 1, because you, you can almost always find this at the beginning of a state constitution. Promotion of general welfare, natural rights of persons, equality under the law. Oh, <clears throat> my bad. It's, uh, it's Section 3, it's not Section 2. Oops. <clears throat> Power of the people over internal affairs. Constitution and form of government. That the people of this state have the inherent, sole, and exclusive right to regulate the internal government and police thereof, and to alter and abolish their constitution and form of government whenever they may deem it necessary to their safety and happiness, provided such changes be not repugnant to the Constitution of the United States. Alright, why did I just read all of that? I'll tell you why. Because <clears throat> the people who are making this comment that we live in a Republican form of government, I hate to tell you but every single state has altered or abolished their form of government from a Republican to a democracy since the Civil War ended. Every single one. In fact, a lot of states that joined the Union after uh, the Civil War were always a democracy. They were never a republic because the Constitution for the United States of America, it... Uh, it doesn't say that all states have to be a Republican form of government. That's not what it says. It says that all states have, have the right reserved. They have the right to be a Republican form of government. And what this basically means in our, in our modern society is that you can exercise a Republican form of government if you're educated enough to that point. Because they guarantee a Republican form of government to every state, that means every state must guarantee that same government to its citizens or, or to 
the natural inhabitants living within their imaginary boundaries. I don't care how you wish to wish to describe it. Anyways, really the main point of this is to just kind of get it out of the way. The reason I'm making these videos right now is because we don't live in a Republican form of government. In all actuality, we don't actually live in a democratic form of government. We don't actually live in a democracy. Right now, I pray to God that we have a democracy a year and a half from now. Because you look at what just happened in Michigan, and you look at what just happened in Georgia, that's not a democracy, that's a totalitarian dictatorship. Now, maybe they're not coming out and calling it a totalitarian dictatorship. But when the executive branch of government <coughs> completely excludes the legislature from being able to perform their constitutionally required duties and functions, that is a totalitarian dictatorship. When the executive branch of Georgia doesn't totally restrict the legislature, but does not give them access to the information they need in a free and open, transparent government, supposedly, and controls the narrative, that's a communist fascist regime regime. So yeah, that's why I've been calling it a democracy. Because I hope and pray to God that we still have a democracy in a year and a half, two years. Cause we're we're losing it fast. Look, your your only guarantee to a Republican form of government. Like Benjamin Franklin said, he said, if you can keep it, it's all just a parchment promise. And you go ask the Indians how well that worked out for them. Go ask them. Anyways, that's all I got right now. I was just making this video because I got to clean up the other video I made. Uh, I, mess, I messed up, messed up, messed up. Anyways... I ain't just conspiracy, I just wish to conspire with other good people on this planet to hopefully at least leave a democracy for our children. It'd be really nice to, uh, to leave them a republic, but l let's just, I'm not aiming high, I'm not aiming high. If we could just get it to a democracy, I'll be cool with that right now. Right now. Anyways, thanks for joining us. Peace.